Hello, what's that triple seven? In today's video, I'll be talking to you guys about how to properly recover a deleted file. I'll warn you now, if you deleted a file two years ago, a year ago, six months ago, it's impossible to recover that file. These are the files that you deleted very recently. So today's tutorial, I'm gonna to talk to you guys about how to properly recover that file. The first thing I'm gonna to talk to you guys about is did you just miss replace it? So a lot of times you move a file or forget where you put it. Um, the simplest way to find that file is open up your file explorer and just search the computer for a name or a date or something that you know about the file. Enter the name and then within a minute or two you can fi probably find out where it is and then put it to wherever it needs to be. If you're positive you deleted it, check out your recycling bin. Until you empty the recycling bin, the file is still in there so you can search the recycling bin or you can order the recycling bin by date modified so that you know the most recent file that was deleted. Once you're done, you can restore the selected file and there you go. If that file was on a Dropbox account, for example, and you deleted it, you can actually use the recycle bin feature the same way it's on Dropbox. It will show deleted files and you can actually bring them back to life and download them again to your computer. If you do regular system backups, this can be a savior. Plug your hard drive in or whatever you use backup to, and then you can go into previous versions and kind of restore the file back from the previous version of your backup. So this is really good. It can be outdated sometimes if it's a Word document file, for example, but it's also a great feature to have. File history is a great feature in Windows 8. Unfortunately, it's disabled by default, so you will have to enable it if you want to use it. But if it was enabled, you can kind of go into your history and this program kind of automatically backups your history of your files so you can kind of bring them back um, to the present time. Next I'm talking about magnetic versus hard, solid state drives. So there's two different types of hard drives right now which are solid state drives and just normal hard drives. So a solid state drive is on the newer computers costs more money per gigabyte and this is what it looks like. It's a skinny, very small hard drive, very quiet, extremely fast. Our old hard drives look more like this. They're bigger, clunkier, and are slower. They're still good for holding a lot of files though. Unfortunately, on the new solid state drives, you cannot recover the file because of the new deleting method called trim. But you can on the old, and I'll explain why. So here I have files both on the same files the magnetic and the solid state drives. Now when I go ahead and delete a file, you'll notice that on the magnetic it only deletes the pointer, whereas on the solid state drive it deletes both of them. Now when you delete a pointer, that means the hard drive is allowed to write over that file. That's why if you delete a file, you can recover it on a magnetic hard drive because you can kind of restore that pointer if you're lucky. Whereas you can't on an SSD. That's why it's, it's suggested that if you do have a magnetic hard drive and delete a file and you want to recover it, it's, it's suggested that you immediately power down the system. If you're not sure if you have an SSD or not, open up your device manager and you can see your hard drives. Type in those codes into Google, it'll bring up the manufacturer website and you can tell if it's a hard drive or not. But normally you can tell or you'll know if you have a hard drive or an SSD. The best way to recover a file, like I said, is to, as soon as you by accident or realize you did it, immediately shut down the computer, boot into Ubuntu Live CD, open up terminal, and type in the following codes. I will have in the description below. So the first one is sudo fdist-l, then the device will come up, so you want to do this code here with the device name, which is probably going to be dev slash sda1. It will bring up files that you can now recover, and then you can type in their names as well. Now the asterisk.jpg, that brings up all JPEGs. It'll restore all of them back to life. Replace the asterisk with n.jpg with the file name. And then finally, sudo with the file name, that code right there. Now make it um, not root user anymore and you can use it. Now it's pretty complicated. And for most users, you're not gonna wanna do that. So if you already know how to do it, then you'll do it. But if you're just a standard person, this is the way I suggest. Go on someone else's computer plug in your flash drive and go to the following website I will have in the description below and download a program called Recuva. On their computer, download the program, open the setup file 
and what we're going to do is install this program to the USB. So go to advanced and set the installation destination for your flash drive. The reason we do this is because if we download the program and install it on the hard drive, then we could replace the file because the pointer is gone. We could replace the file and then it becomes impossible to, to bring it back to life. Whereas if we install on the flash drive and run it from the flash drive, the chances of us overriding that pointer file are much less. And if we do it right away, the chances of us bringing that file back to life are really good. So even if you're um, scared and the and file is really important, I would suggest trying this way first because it's much easier for the average user, unless you have Ubuntu Live CD already running on your computer or on a CD. Now once you have it installed, go to that computer that needs that file back, plug it in, open up the flash drive, and run the software. The software itself is pretty self-explanatory. It's really good. Ask you what type of files you want to bring back to life or whatever my case may be, where to search for it, and then click next. It only takes probably about a minute to scan the computer. So once it's done scanning, it's going to have a couple different categories, which are red, um, yellow, and green. Green means the file can be replaced very easily. It can be brought back to life. Yellow is 50-50, and red means no way. So if the file is green, you're in luck. You can select it and click Restore, and it'll get put back to exactly where it was before. If it's red, you're out of luck and it cannot be brought back. And if it's yellow, try it out and see if it works. This program, like I mentioned earlier, restores that pointer on the hard drive and makes it work. Now, like I said, because if you have an SSD, this won't work. Now, if it was unable to find your file, you can go back and do the same thing, but this time enable deep scan. Deep scan will take a couple hours longer, but it may actually find your file. This is for if you delete that file a bit long, long time ago. That's it for the video, guys. Thanks for watching. It may have seemed a bit rushed. Um, it's because I uh, kind of did it all first and then voiced over that. So I am trying to work, work around on that. But anyway, though, thanks for watching. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe for more. And happy hacking. This is Hacker 7 and I'm signing off.